What's up guys? So we are back with a toy haul and it is, well, this isn't just a toy haul. This is, this is a whole bunch of stuff that's really just piled up uh, since the move that I have not gotten to yet, not reviewed, maybe never going to review. I don't really know. Uh, who knows really? Because there's also this massive, massive uh, Big Bad Toy Store box that arrived today that's like two and a half months worth of stuff that I just didn't really want to ship yet and then I finally got to the point where there was stuff I really wanted so we finally uh, shipped it out. I've also got this guy back here. Um, so I did finally get my Sentinels and I mean if you follow me on, on, on Twitter in particular you know that it was, uh, it was kind of a mess to get them for me because you know, I had my tracking show up at the end of August. We moved at the end of September, so I assumed that I had plenty of time to get mine, right? Why would they give me tracking numbers so far in advance and then never do anything? And then, of course, we moved and they never shipped, and they shipped all three of them to the old house. So uh, that was kind of a mess. They also shipped two of them while we were on vacation. Uh, so that was a whole thing. And I finally have them. I've only opened one so far. Uh, it, you know, the knee thing is definitely a problem. I've done the screw fix on them, and you can see, I mean, he's he's holding pretty well. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with them so far. I just haven't really given it enough time. Uh, despite, you know, being antsy about getting them, I haven't given them enough time uh, really yet. I don't know that I'm going to get around to doing a review on it. Frankly, the logistics of it is kind of nightmarish when it comes to something this big. And it, it's been reviewed over and over and over again for months now. I don't know if, I don't really know if my two cents is needed at this point, but it is a really cool toy. And I do not, I do not regret my purchase. So I suppose, uh, I suppose that's the review and he'll be along for the ride. I was gonna do a live stream for this because there's so much stuff, but I am lazy and tired and yeah, I don't want to stay up until 1 a.m. talking about all this stuff. Well, I do, but I also don't, if that makes sense. So uh, well, I'm going to run through the stuff that's not in this box first because there's two other piles here uh, of stuff. So we're going to run through. It, it's the stuff that if folks have been able to get for me, stuff that I've found, and then some stuff that came in uh, elsewhere down the road. Uh, so the first of which I got a Robot Spirits figure. Um, this is the this is the RX-78, you know, the Gundam, but this is the version of the one that's in Japan, like the one that's actually on display uh, in Yokohama, so the, the life-size Gundam. Uh, this is that kind of like a real-world Gundam, which is kind of cool. So it's, it's, very, it's very much familiar, but it's also different. Uh, I finally got my April. I know this is old news too, so I, you know, I ordered both versions of April. The signature version, which is what this is, you know, here's the little doodad that it comes with, and I'm really not sure I even care about this anymore, because I ordered both, and, you know, NECA doesn't ship unless everything's in stock. Well, this version, for some reason, got delayed. I guess there was something to do with the raincoat. Um, you know, there she is. She's got the crappy knees, and there's a raincoat just shoved back in there. And, you know, the raincoat doesn't even go with this version of her. She's not wearing this outfit uh, when she has the coat. But, you know, I didn't get mine. I, I have the regular one, too, the, the non-signature edition. And I already have Judith Hogue's autograph. I've met, I've met her. Uh, so it's probably not the smartest thing to have bought. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I wish I had the new version that's coming out that had the better knees, because, you know, those are... Those are atrocious, but they sat on mine forever, and then they didn't even ship in the same box. They actually shipped them individually, which was just kind of ridiculous. Uh, I got this, which was kind of a surprise. This one, this thing got delayed, and then I got a shipping notice for it this morning, and then it arrived like 30 minutes later. So this is the Figuarts uh, Bandai Namco like game exclusive clone Goku, which is pretty cool. I don't. I, I've not played whatever game this comes from, you know, but it's it's a Dragon Ball figure art. So, uh, yeah, it's, I guess it's Dragon Ball Fighters, and I've never played that. I've never played it, uh, despite how cool it does look, I suppose. Uh, so we've got, a, a, you know, an evil clone Goku, which I'm actually pretty excited about. The figure does look pretty good. I'm assuming it's very familiar territory as far as a Goku goes, right? But, uh, I don't know, that's cool. I might do a review on that if I can get, him, get to him quick enough. You know, I'm currently working on the the Masterverse figures at the moment, so those are definitely taking a precedent. Uh, we've got some Mythic Legion stuff, so I've got uh, another Vorthog. 
I've also got two more horses. I don't know where I put them. So there's a there's a there's an Athon and a Balius around here somewhere. Uh, I put them on a shelf and I forgot about them for this video. So I'm already behind. I got another Vorthog. I've already done a review on him, but I wanted to get another one for all the parts uh, that he has. And you know, just to round out the legions, I got another Aerithere also. Um, so this was this was from Big Bad Toy Store a little while ago when they got the, the bulk of their stuff in. Uh, so I had to get another one. I'm, gonna, I'm going to, I'm planning on breaking him apart to mix and match him. I say that and I never actually do that. Uh, so we'll see what I do. Uh, I've got my Maestro. Um, you know, he's, he's been around for a while, but he's one that I got late and then I sort of sat on him. So I didn't do a whole lot with this guy either. Well, nothing, because he's closed. Uh, I've got the uh, Shadow Warriors 2-pack from NECA. So this is, of course, uh, you know, Oroku, Saki, and Hamato Yoshi. Uh, a friend was able to score this in addition to this, the Ultimate Casey Jones. Because I have just the worst luck you know, with his little with his little love note that he wrote me. Uh, but I have just the worst luck with the Walmart stuff. So uh, he was able to score that for me, which is awesome. And then I guess to round out the NECA... The Loot Crate Danny. This tells you how far behind some stuff is, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this because this figure, this figure seems just bad in many ways. Um, you know, because it's built upon the uh, what the Terminator 2 uh, figure. So we've got, you know, a little short, squatty Danny. I don't know. I don't know. He's kind of a disappointment, right? Uh, and then this. Yeah, I know some folks still don't have this. This has been sitting around for like a month. Uh, or a month, I know, two months, two months. It's been sitting around for two months and I've never opened it. So uh, very far behind on this for sure. So we've got our Commando Snake Eyes with uh, Timber. And this set looks fantastic. I, I just, you know, moving. And then, you know, of course, if you follow me, getting COVID and being sick as a dog for a while did not help. So... I just got a lot of backed up stuff. And then I got a mountain of Star Wars figures. Um, like, this is an entire wave right here. So I've got the Casca Reeves and General Lando. Uh, we've got the, the Walmart exclusive Rex, which I said I wasn't going to buy. And I missed the original pre-order. And then I didn't care about him. But then I was able to snag him. So, of course, I did. And the Imperial Crosshair. So both of these are Walmart. Uh, we've got the Artillery Stormtrooper and the Clone uh, Shock Trooper. So we have another Walmart, right? Another Walmart and Amazon exclusive. Uh, let's see. Got Tech and Zero. And then Aura Singh. So that rounds out that wave because the other figure in this wave is a Bo-Katan. And then uh, another Artillery Trooper. There's a third one somewhere, and then two more clone shock troopers, because you know, why not, right? I think the real question is why, but I'm not gonna ask that tonight. And then we've got, jeez, I don't even know which, I don't even know which side is the top on this. Yeah. That ain't going to work. So this is way too big. Um, I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut here. And I'm going to put this on the floor. And... Yeah, and then we'll come right back. And we're back. And I've I've repositioned just a little bit. Just so this is easier. Because this box is, is absolutely massive. It's like... Like 30 inches long. And it weighs 30 pounds too. So it's also... Uh, it's just big. It's big and it's heavy. And again, there's like months worth of stuff in here. Um, so some of it will get reviewed. Um, some of it is just stuff that's like really, it's not even current by any means. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go in from the top, uh, top down. So, uh, I, I'm in the midst of reviewing wave three of Masterverse, but I got that from Entertainment Earth. They somehow got those in relatively quickly. I got wave two from Big Bad Toy Store, though. Um, so the first thing out of this big box is wave two of Masterverse. So, uh, Man at Arms, he definitely looks really good. I'm pretty excited about this one. For the most part, this line has been, has been really solid. I mean, I'm enjoying it. It's, you know, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. 
Uh, we got uh, Tila, which she looks like a really good figure, but she is very much off model when it comes to the animation, right? Like the face doesn't look anything like her, which I guess is not a thing that's new for this line, right? Uh, he gets four and a half seconds of screen time, so he already gets a figure, uh, but I'm not, I'm not upset about that. So we get Spike War. And then, of course, the last one is uh, Beastman, which is, of course, our new modern Beastman with uh, just a decidedly different but very familiar look. So I'm pretty excited about those because I have not seen... I've not seen anything Masterverse in a store except for um, everybody but Evil Lynn lately and Faker. I can find Faker all day long around here. Uh, this is big and it's on top, so I'm going to get it. Uh, this is the uh, 3 0 Robo Doe uh, Evangelion model uh, zero 02. So, this is, um, I, I, have mo I, have, I have unit one, but I, I got it like after it came out. I got it on eBay left for, for a pretty deal, really. Um, and of course, it made me want to get more. So, this is this is bigger than your average figure. I mean, obviously, look at it, it's, it's pretty big. Um, but it is, it's like nine and a half to ten inches tall, roughly, but it's die cast. So it's really big and heavy. Um, so it's not the same thing as like the Dynaction that I'm still basically in love with. That thing's humongous, has some die cast, but is mostly plastic. This thing is like entirely die cast almost. Uh, so think of it like a smaller, more, more die cast uh, Dynaction, really. But it is pretty fantastic. Um, I'm going to crack into this very soon. I don't know if I'm going to do a review on it because... I just don't know if I'm going to do one. Uh, some of this, you know, I do buy some stuff to not review. I know that seems crazy, but I do. Um, the next, uh, something that I rarely get into, and I, I probably won't review this guy either. He's not new now at this point, so there's no point. The uh, Marvel Select Titanium Man. And, you know, I do this really, really sparingly. Like, I got the... Uh, whatever the Hulk is called. Now I just can't remember. The Immortal Hulk. I got him, I've got Colossus, you know, I've got some big characters because they work really well. And this guy looks like he's going to scale really nicely uh, with with Legends. Not to mention the fact that that like really candy coating uh, plastic paint that they've used there, whatever the finish is, uh, looks really, really cool. I don't care so much about that head sculpt. I'm going to use the helmet for sure, but he looks really, really cool. I'm excited about that one. Even though it's kind of like outside of my wheelhouse, I'm excited for that one. Uh, let's see what what do we have here. Where did my knife go? So this is a this is a robot spirits. You know what? Let me do. There's some other stuff in here that is in a box, right? Let's do this. So this is something that I don't know. It might annoy people. I'm not really sure. Uh, I got another Conan. I had this was one that I got at Big Battle. This was so here's the story. This was the first Mezco I have ever ordered. It's not the first I owned, obviously, because I've done reviews, um, and I have way too many now. I pretty much, you know, do the Just a Rumble Society only for the most part. But this was the first thing I ever pre-ordered, and I pre-ordered it at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, for some reason, I didn't go direct. And then I was able to get one elsewhere, and that's the one that I reviewed. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. I have some third-party leather goods coming for Conan that I probably will have one of each going. Um, like you're not going to see me throw this guy up for sale because I know that like there's a, you know, there's, there's so much that I can do with him and I am super big into Conan. So that's an exciting one for me. Uh, let's see. I'll do, yikes. Let's do, this is a bunch of Dragon Ball stuff. So I've got, uh, two launches because of course there's two versions of her and... I'm an idiot, so I decided to get two. I don't normally do this. Oh, the box says lunch on it, too, so that's that's cool. I like that. Um, I don't normally do this, and I'm not really sure why I'm doing it for her, but uh, we got two of these. I'll probably do a review on her, because I'm trying to stay current on the Dragon Ball stuff when it comes to reviews. Uh, I've got the new, new Goku, so the Super Saiyan full power, Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Um, Ascended Saiyan kind of stuff. So this one is, you know, just a new Goku, which I'm excited for because the last time we got a Super Saiyan Goku was, I don't know, like a lifetime ago almost. And it's not even close to cartoon accurate. And then I got the new Goku Black because I needed another one. Because we've already got him. He was... 
he was a while ago. I don't, I don't remember anymore. I don't know. I don't remember. Um, let's see. Let's pull these out. I don't know how they managed to pack these boxes because they everything generally comes out okay despite the fact that there's just so much stuff crammed on top of each other. And then you always get like that crazy big bad toy store uh, packing material. I know they even posted a video about it once, how they like, I guess that's them making it or something, but I don't know, I like getting it because I love to use it when I'm sending stuff. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So um, next thing is the, probably the only, no, one of the only Marvel Legends. I think there's another one in this box. Um, the Hydra Stomper. I've not seen this guy at retail anywhere. He has not, as far as I know, hit this area. Um, so I've been waiting for this one, you know, because I love, I love for the most part, the what if line. There's a couple figures in that that I'm not the greatest on, like the Spider-Man figure. I'm not too, too happy with that one. Uh, but the rest of the wave is pretty solid. And I really dig the Captain Carter figure. So of course I had to get this. And this thing is humongous. It's really heavy. Like this thing probably weighs like, I mean, it's over a pound for sure. So that's cool. I don't, I don't know if I'll do a review on that, but there's my mini review. It's big. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the other Marvel Legends. So Retro Hercules, which looks really good. That uh, really stupid smarmy smile is really doing it for me. Uh, I, I really like this one. He's not, he's not, this isn't classic classic. Like you could go even further back and give us another one. But I think this is, this is probably the one that I'm going to be the most happy with. Although that modern one is really cool too. Uh, so it'll be nice to get a different one whenever I get around to opening this guy. I hate pulling these guys off the card backs, but I can't justify buying two of these. They're just, it's too many. And what would I do with them? Like I love the card backs, but when you open these, they do kind of get destroyed uh, in the process for the most part. Uh, we got some more Motu, and just pull them all out. So I've got, this is wave five, wave five. So this is uh, our goddess, Stinkor, and he doesn't smell as far as I'm aware. Neither does the Masterverse figure, which is, it's, it's absolutely criminal. Uh, to, to break that trend. I mean, the classics figure smells, the vintage figure smells, obviously, even the Funko Pop smells. Uh, so I don't, I don't understand it. I know I could put a little patchouli oil on him, but it's not the same if you have to do it yourself. I am very much of the opinion that it's not the same if you have to fix your toys when you get them out of the box. Um, so it doesn't really do that for me. There's no, there's no fun in that. Um, he does... He does look really, really cool, though, and I probably won't care because I don't really smell my toys all that often. I'm excited that she's not going to shatter for, uh, you know, crappy translucent plastic like the Classics one was known to do. Mine is still holding up. Uh, she's also not translucent. The Lords of Power Beastman. I don't, I have never opened the regular Beastman. If that tells you how far behind I am on Origins. But he looks cool, though. He's obviously very familiar, but very different. And Web Store to round out Wave 5. Uh, what? Wave... No, this is wave six, isn't it? This is wave six. Fisto is the wave that has wave five. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. And then the wave with Buzz Off is next, and the Sorceress, I think, is seven. Or I'm just wrong. And then another deluxe figure with uh, Pixel Dan's favorite. Well, I don't know why, Mosquitoor. But he has a ton of stuff. The, the blood-sucking energy effect. Extra head, the gun. I really like the deluxe figures. Uh, when when it, for the most part, I really do like them. You get all kinds of extra stuff. That's what makes it deluxe. Uh, oh, there's another figure arts in here. Oh, this is the the Goku the eating set. I'm not gonna try to pronounce whatever that actually is. I almost canceled this, but then I realized exactly how much stuff comes in it, and the fact that I can just do goofy things uh, with other figures. Like it doesn't have to be Goku, obviously. So, so this is really cool. There's there's a lot of stuff in here. I mean, you know, there's like a ton of plates, and there's a like a, a suckling pig, and a fish, and some beer bottles, and a big mountain of rice, and the table, and chairs. So. You know, I'm not obviously not one for doing fancy photography or diorama stuff or anything like that, but you'll definitely see that in some pictures. Uh, some Super 7 stuff, because uh, when it comes to Thundercats, I keep a set sealed. So, uh, I know that sounds ridiculous, so I got a Jaga to keep um, sealed, because I, I needed him still. 
uh, to have a full sealed set because I like that. I, I don't know. And then I got another Papa Emeritus um, so I could have both versions, so both, uh, both sets of soft goods. Yeah, I know. That's ridiculous. Uh, and then... Okay, the rest is all Bandai stuff. Sure. So, yeah, there's this. Let's open this. So this is a... A Robot Spirits. I guess it was a P. Bandai. But it was sold on Big Bad normally, so who knows. But I'm pretty excited about this one. So this is the uh, Evangelion Unit 2. Like the, uh, I guess that's supposed to be like the Alpha or whatever. So this is the one from a rebuild that has been completely uh, cannibalized and then put back together with other uh, Eva parts and all that stuff. Um, with the huge Gatling gun and everything. And, and this one, I mean, this thing is absolutely ridiculous in the movie. It's a wild scene. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this one just in general because it's got a crazy design. I'm curious how it works because there's like missile pods and guns and swords and bits and bobs and doodads hanging all over it. I don't know how it's gonna, I don't know how it's gonna, you know, stand, but we'll find out. We'll find out together. And some Gundam stuff. There's always Gundam and stuff in these boxes. So this is the uh, Gundam 0083, it's Robot Spirits. Um, the GPO2. This is a reissue because I missed the first one. Like I thought I had time, uh, and I just sort of waited on this one like a couple years ago, and I just waited on it. And then it was when it was gone, it was gone, and I was not going to pay for it. I was not going to pay through the nose to get this figure. And then they they put this and a few other things up for reissue. Um, this was the only one that I needed or wanted, I suppose, at the time. Um, so this looks uh, this looks pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this guy. Although the colors on this thing are uh, interesting, it's incredibly gray for some reason, and I don't understand why. So I need to get this out of the box at some point and poke around and see what the, what the deal is with it. And then for the same anime, this is the uh, AGX04, the Gerbera Tetra. So this is you know a Xeon suit that would have been another Gundam if the story had kept going and not gone in the direction that it went. Uh, so this is like a big red suit. It's got a really tiny window. You can't even see the damn thing in there. Uh, but there's tons of product shots on the back. So this thing's pretty cool. It's a very it's a very unique uh, looking suit. It doesn't really do a whole lot in the show either. And then another, another uh, Dom. So this is a MS-09 Dom from uh, just Mobile Suit Gundam. And uh, I've got a couple of these, but this one is different in in some way. I really couldn't tell you what's different about this one without looking at the other ones. I don't know. I, I don't know if they're all they're all really similar, but I'm sure there's something about this one that uh, makes it more unique. And then a couple other things. So here is a model kit that I'll get around to building sometime by the end of the decade. Uh, the Endless Waltz version of. Uh, tall geese. So this rounds out all three master grade tall geese kits that I have, but have not built any of them yet. So I, I just wanted to be able to make sure I lock this one down because it, it's becoming harder and harder to get a hold of. And then the last thing, the last thing is yet another Bandai piece, but a monster art. So this is the uh, 1989 uh, Godzilla monster art. So this is the one against Biollante. Uh, so I've got the Biollante, so now I've got the Godzilla that goes along with it. So, I mean, yeah, this is a bunch of stuff. Um, like I said, it's been a long time since I've done one of these. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that's just backed up. If there's anything here in particular that uh, you want to see or needs a focus or want to see more of, like I said, you know, I'll probably do the, the Dragon Ball stuff. We'll probably hit some of this Gundam stuff. I don't know, maybe the Hydra Stopper just to do it. And I don't know. I mean, I might do this thing. I don't think I'm going to do a Sentinel review. It's It's... It's fun. It does have knee problems. It's fun. I don't regret my purchase. Uh, and then there is uh, Master vs. Figures to do. I'll do all four of those from Wave 2 after I wrap up Wave 3, probably. And then, I don't know, maybe hit some of these Origins, too, because uh, this guy, in particular, 
on any day of the week deserves any and all of my attention. So uh, that is it. That is enough, I think. Let me know what you guys have gotten recently. Again, let me know if you want to see a focus on anything else. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I've missed too much, right? There's not anything hiding in this box. So uh, that's it, guys, and I'll catch you next time.